people of Earth, it's Agamemnon Tiberius Vacuum. Some of you filthy humans have been asking me lately, how did I get from Planet 3 to filthy, disgusting Earth? Well, today, I figured, hey, I might as well teach these filthy humans a thing or two about space physics. <laughs> <laughs> just shut their mouths and stop thinking about Earth stuff for a second. The reckoning is upon you! Okay, well it all starts with uh, a your ordinary uh, Planet 3 citizen, which let's just say it's me. This is an average face of a Planet 3 citizen. Anyway, you have to kill the body of the Planet 3 citizen first so that you get what's uh, called a spirit uh, to take it out of the body. You would call it uh, a humans would call it a, a ghost, let's say. Okay, okay. Well, and then, uh, let's go to step two here. Uh, we've got a, a race of people uh, similar to human beings, uh, really positive figures. Anyways, you take one of those, they live on planet three too with us, inferior, inferior beings. You take one of those and you sacrifice it, uh, which then, out of the, out of the sacrifice, you get what's called the vortex. Simple equation, uh, F plus R, not the planet R. Falconer! Falconer! Thanks very much! <laughs> Thanks a lot! Gotta put the gun! Uh, out of the F plus R vortex, you get uh, a, what's called like a, like a wormhole or a, or a interspace subway. we we'll take it to Earth! It well, takes the ghost, the ghost or the spirit, of the of the me and sends it to Earth to the filthy planets. Just takes it there. It's really when you get there you're always disgusted by it. Once you get to Earth, you're still a spirit. This is the tricky part. You have to perform the following equation. Ghost plus stork equals human child. And now, gonna, from now on, we call the human child uh, sum here uh, the HC. And, well, of course, well, I, I don't want to skip. This is where it gets complicated. You also have to do uh, the, the equation. They, you've got to reverse the minefield into the blank, uh, which creates a perfect replicate. There's a second part of the Ghost plus stork equals human child, along with the reverse minefield into uh, the blank creating the perfect magnet, <laughs> which we call a human child. Uh, and we'll call that the HC from now on. Are you with me? Uh, rep the replicant is uh, represented by the letter L. <clears throat> okay, so you take the HC, or the, the perfect replicant represented by the L, add that to the HC, and you get uh, what we like to call the LHC, replicant human child. Uh, what this is is a perfect copy of a human child with the spirit of a Planet 3 citizen. It's an abomination, but it's necessary. Now, so we take uh, the F plus R, uh, it's from the vortex up here. I don't have time to explain the uh, connection. But uh, it's, uh, we can do the following equation, F plus R uh, plus LHC, replicant human child. And we get uh, R, not the planet R, thanks. I don't have to keep playing it, thanks a lot. But the square root of D to the fourth power, which equals uh, vacuum. Now, of course, I didn't have time in this lesson to go into the obvious uh, time equals space, space greater than reality. Reality is the square root of dimension to the fourth power. Uh, it's uh, pretty obvious. Just read the textbooks and go and do the questions in the back. Go back tomorrow, give them to me, and. Uh, and there'll be a test about it, okay? So thanks a lot! Reality is a square of dimension for power, okay? Alright, so uh, are you happy you asked the question of how I got to Earth now, humans? I, well, because you ask questions, don't ask questions you don't want the answers to. That's right! Hey, hey you wanna know, uh, you wanna know the meaning of life? Don't, uh, don't ask if you don't want to answer. After all, it is my superior alien intellect and its understanding of time and space and ghosts that got me into 
the Lucretian Society in the first place. And I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't expect the feeble minds of the Yautubi audience to even understand a single thing that I'm saying right now. Consider yourself educated. <laughs> and here I am back at the big gray wall. You may be wondering how I got back here so quickly. The answer is teleportation. And to give you a little bit of education on the subject, here's our science correspondent, Dr. Sophocles. Uh, teleportation is something that uh, even the most retarded kid can understand, you see. First you start off and you're here. And then, after you teleport and you're not, uh, then you end up over here. But you're dead. It's a clone. <laughs> That's about it. I don't know what else he does. Hmm. Maybe we should have Dr. Sophocles demoted to Mr. Sophocles. Oh. He can talk. Can't he? All right, so what Dr. Sophocles was trying to say is that teleportation is a process that involves producing a copy of oneself in the desired location, which leaves the original in the original location to be disposed of by the appointed personnel. Now, I've been doing this for well over a hundred years, and I feel just fine. Uh, allow me to demonstrate. I'm going to teleport myself, energize, and as you can see, a copy of myself has been produced over. Oh shit! Shut his mouth, piece of crap. Another example of how safe the effects of teleportation are on the human brain is vacuums to field. Oh god, oh god, here we go! Damn it, I'm a teleporting man, man. Oh look at me running! No! Because I got it on my chest! Look at this! I got a numero siete on my chest! Oh! Just look at him. A wonder of science and technology. A perfect copy of a really disturbed man. He's very technically sound. He makes technical sounds. The concepts of the vacuum consortium pervade your spirit forever!